In this visit, I'll talk about what the serum potassium means. Potassium is an element present in the body as an ion, meaning a charged particle. It's one of the blood tests measured in the comprehensive metabolic profile. Potassium is important in proper functioning of nerves and muscles. The normal serum potassium is 3.5 to 5 milliequivalents per liter. Low serum potassium is less than 3.5 milliequivalents per liter. Low serum potassium can cause muscle pain and weakness if it's below 3 milliequivalents per liter. It can cause paralysis if the serum potassium falls below 2.5 milliequivalents per liter. Low serum potassium can cause rhabdomyolysis, which is death of skeletal muscle, and it can cause cardiac arrhythmias, potentially dangerous irregular heartbeats. Low serum potassium can cause increased blood pressure. It can cause nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. This is a condition in which the kidneys are unable to adequately conserve water, and therefore they generate large amounts of inappropriately dilute urine. The serum potassium can cause increased renal ammonia production, which can be a problem for people with severe liver disease. It can cause interstitial nephritis, which is a type of inflammatory kidney damage. A rare cause of low serum potassium is inadequate intake. The serum potassium can also become low because the potassium is shifted inside the cells. Serum potassium can become low because of loss from the kidneys. Serum potassium can be low because of loss from the GI tract from diarrhea or laxative abuse, and can be low from excessive sweating. The most common cause of low serum potassium, however, is medicine, especially diuretics. Usually, the cause of low serum potassium can be determined by the medical history and physical examination. If that's not enough, tests called the transtubular potassium gradient and the 24-hour urine collection for total potassium excretion can be ordered. Depending on what those tests show, other tests, including serum bicarbonate, renin, and aldosterone levels, and other endocrine evaluations may be indicated. High serum potassium is a level greater than 5.0 milliequivalents per liter. High serum potassium can cause muscle weakness, paralysis, and cardiac conduction abnormalities, just as low serum, sodium, low serum potassium can. These abnormalities become much more likely when the serum potassium is greater than 6.5 milliequivalents per liter. The electrocardiogram the heart tracing can become abnormal with a high potassium level. However, a normal electrocardiogram in no way rules out dangerously high potassium levels. High serum potassium can result from transfusions with older packed red blood cells. High serum potassium can result from the use of a type of medicine called a non-selective beta blocker. High serum potassium can result from the use of ACE inhibitors and ARBs and other medicines. Chronic kidney disease can cause high serum potassium. Other causes of high potassium are noted on the screen. Before beginning treatment for high potassium, it's important to make sure that it's not due to lab variants. So we almost always recheck the potassium level when we get an abnormal result. Evaluation of high serum potassium begins with a careful medical history looking for medicines that can cause high potassium. We always get a comprehensive metabolic profile. The diagnostic evaluation includes complete blood count and urinalysis. If the etiology is unclear, then the transtubular potassium gradient is measured. And then further evaluation depends on the results of all these tests. Well, that's it for this visit. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found it useful.